In this video, we will demonstrate how to retrofit an existing opening with a CO Series 993 exit trim. The door currently has a Von Duprin 99 rim exit device with a night latch function pull trim. These are the tools you'll need for this installation. First, prepare the door for your installation. A self-adhesive template is included in the box. Insert the tailpiece guide into the exit device center case assembly. This step is only for the CO200 and CO250. On the outside assembly, carefully remove the mylar strip. On the outside of the door, install the four sex bolts through the holes. If there is a large cutout in the door, use the retrofit plate to support the two lower bolts. Next, install the grommets on the outside and inside of the door. Install the exit device according to the manufacturer's instructions. Use the sex bolts to connect the exit device to the door. Measure and cut the universal tailpiece as needed before installation. Make sure you cut the end without the hole. The length can vary, so make sure you have the correct length before installing the tailpiece. Exact dimensions are indicated on the instructions. Slide the cut tailpiece, hole end first, into the outside assembly cam. Once the holes are aligned, secure it with the plug. Check the handing of the outside assembly. The knob stop pin should be pointing toward the latch edge of the door. If the handing is not correct for your opening, rehand it now according to the installation instructions. Remove the protective tape from the spindle. If you have an Athens style lever, remove the spacer from the spindle. Insert a Phillips screwdriver into the cam of the outside assembly and rotate it clockwise until it stops. Place the cylinder into the lever, and while holding the cylinder in place, insert the key. Turn the key 90 degrees clockwise and push the lever over the spindle. Depress the knob stop pin using the lever removal tool and continue pushing the lever on until you hear a click. Check that the lever and cylinder have seated correctly by turning the key and removing it from the cylinder. Install the four standoff posts into the corners of the outside assembly. Next, thread the battery cable through the grommeted holes. While guiding the tailpiece into the tailpiece guide of the exit device, fit the outside assembly flush to the door. From the inside of the door, use the two screws with washers and secure the bottom two standoff posts of the outside assembly. Holding the inside assembly, route the battery cable through the opening. Push the assembly flush against the inside of the door. Ensuring the cable is not pinched, secure the unit with the two machine screws at the bottom and the two self-tapping screws at the top. Now insert the four AA batteries into the battery holder, noting proper polarity as shown. Install the battery holder with the cable pointing to the top. Place the battery strap over the holder and install the screws. Connect the battery plug and carefully tuck the wires as shown. Place the battery cover onto the inside assembly and secure it with the screw. Place the top cover onto the assembly and secure it with the screw. To check for correct mechanical operation, depress the inside push bar and make sure the exit device latch fully retracts. On the outside lever, insert the key and turn to verify full latch retraction. For more information, including other types of exit devices, consult your user guide.